want to talk about. Um, but when I was growing up, I was told that you're an adult, you don't play. Play is for children. And therefore, I really became, the word that people used to describe me was intense. So I became focused on money. I had to, to, to work, to get the money, to pay the bills, and I wouldn't do anything. In fact, this might come as a surprise to a lot of people, but I've never been to Disney. The reason being is, one, I've been alone, and then the other one is that I always thought, oh, I don't have the time to do this. I will never. Like, like most people say, I don't have the time. But yeah. when I started, uh, 2017, I started adding a day to play in my schedule. It was at first a guilty thing. You know, it's like, oh, you're taking time off, and you will make money, and whatever, whatever. And so I I felt so guilty but then once I got used to it in another week or two weeks I realized I look forward so much to that day of play and I didn't really go out and do anything physical but what I did is I learned to play mahjong and I want to tell you that 25 years ago or 30 years ago when I first entered this country I was working for as a housekeeper for a very wealthy couple and one day a week, she would have people come over to play mahjong, and I did, I had never heard the name of the game before. And I looked at it, and I saw these all these tiles with these little characters on them, and I instantly made up my mind that I will never be able to play that game. So for thirty years, I didn't even attempt to learn how to play. And then, when in two thousand and seventeen, I moved to this this area this subdivision and they had games Monday and Thursday and they would get together. So I sat there and I watched them for like two weeks. And then I said, Oh, I can play. So they let me play. Of course I made mistakes, but the thing is that by nature, I'm a very competitive person. And of course, you know, I just fell in love with the game. Now I'm actually beating my teachers. So it's, it's just wonderful to be able to have a half a day off, to just play and take your mind off of work. And what that does, and this is what you have done in taking over the the graphic, creating the, the book cover uh, area of my life, is that you freed up my time so that I could actually have that four hours to play my show. So, yeah, so any any awards that you win off that, you're, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. But yes, I, I, do, I do get the whole thing that you're talking about. Like, play is essential. We, we do is. need play to have something to take our mind off thing. And yes. uh, obviously, even if you work a nine-to-five job and you're not an entrepreneur type of scenario, what's the one thing people wait for? They wait for the weekend. So the right. moment five o'clock hits, they're out, they're going out with their friends, they're partying, whatever. And then by Sunday evening, they're all like, oh, shucks, I got to go back to work type of scenario. But the thing is, in that whole time frame, they can do whatever they want within reason, obviously, to have fun, to get their mind off things and to say, hey, look, I'm enjoying my life and not worried about anything. Unlike an entrepreneur, where usually entrepreneurs, when you first start out, you're working seven days a week. You're working 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, because you don't have systems, you don't have processes in a line of your business and you're trying to get these factions up. So therefore you can become over inundated with stress. And, you know, when they come to see you say, Oh, Toddy, I have a backache, but I don't have time to see you at this time. They, you know, it kind of goes back to that. (laughs) Yes. Yes, it does. And then the other thing about it is that weekends or we can we tend to save up for family and you know socially and being with friends. But I'll tell you, taking time off during the week for yourself is actually an essential thing. And Joe, I don't know if you realize this or not, but twenty four can be divided into three, and what you get is eight hours or eight divided by when twenty four is divided by three, you get three eights. So if you broke up your day into eight hours of sleep, most of us don't get that, but let's say you did. Eight hours of sleep, eight hours to work, and then you have eight hours to do whatever it is you choose to do. So 
when you say you don't have time, something, I, and I don't mean you literally, but yeah. I'm saying the general public, when they say, I don't have time, it could mean that they have not really organized their time effectively to get the things done that they want to be done. Like, for instance, my day on the weekends, I do laundry and wash, dry, and fold laundry. And I have to do laundry for my office as well as for myself. But then on Saturday evening, I could do a couple of things. I could go to the movies. And even if I had to go by myself, I don't care. I just go and enjoy the movie and then come back home. Or I could go. There's a tiki bar that's close by in our area where a friend of mine, he plays the steel pan on Saturday. And then on, and I'm sorry, on Sunday. And then Saturday night, they may have another group or something like that. And that's how I do my weekends. But during the week... I take half a day off on Thursdays or Mondays to play, to literally nice. play. Well, that's that's good. So uh, we are coming under five minute line though. So I want to give okay. some more time. But uh, um, it, tell tell our listeners how's the best way to get a hold of you uh, to actually you know either by email, phone number, website. What's what's the best way they they can actually you know schedule time to you know hear from you. Okay, the best way to do it would be by email. It's toddy, T-O-D-D-Y, jadu, J-A-D-O-O, at gmail.com. That's my personal email. I do have one for the business and one for the lifestyle, but for right now, jadu, toddy, jadu, at gmail.com is the best way. My phone number is also a good way to get me because I could receive text as well as voice calls, and that's 941-928-3107. The website, I'm working on the website myself, so that is still under construction because of all the things I've added and I'm doing that it's causing it to be a little bit delayed in the construction of it. But it will be ready soon, and that would be jaducenter.com. So what we are doing with the website is we are going to have a page for each one of the, like, for instance, Technique Jadu. We're going to have a page for that. For the Jadu Lifestyle, we'll have a page for that. We'll have resources. We'll have events coming up, things like that. We'll possibly even have a blog. So Mm -hmm. we want to be able to do that so that people will be able to get information, educational information that we give our clients. We want to be able to give them. We do have online classes. I'm preparing for online classes in a little bit. So we do have online classes coming up. Yeah. And uh, one of the the projects that I work with Tati is putting together some her uh, projects together. One of them is the online classes, which, uh, we will talk later today, Toddy, because I have some news for you that I found some information. But we'll go okay. into that in a different scenario. Uh, other than that, is there any type of inspiring quotes, facts, or anything that you want to leave our listeners with? Or, you know, talk about, you know, what to be aware of in the industry without slandering, obviously. Okay. Um, one of the things that we want to be aware of... I tend to not want to use the word massage to describe what I do with respect to the body work. The reason I begin is when you hear the word massage, you equate it to whatever you've experienced before, good or bad. Um, I would like to ask the, or your audience to ask questions, be um, more open to understanding, and literally uh, one of the things that my clients get that they don't get anywhere else is I literally teach them how to to correct the ergonomics so that they could stay out of pain. I also teach them how to move so they could stay out of pain. They have a lifetime education with every session that they come in. So I'm I'm going to say ask questions. Okay. Well that's that's a great way to end this. And I have to tell everyone that uh, Toddy is not only a good friend who I met at a networking event so long ago, which was very inspiring, but um, she is also my mentor and helps me keep me aligned to uh, make sure that I'm always on time, efficiency, and whatnot. So with that, I want to thank you again, Toddy, for being in my guest on here. Thank you for having me on your show when we were talking about logos. So if you you haven't uh, checked out Jadu Lifestyle on Toddy's podcast on Society Bites Radio, please check her out as well because she has really great podcast show guests on there as well. 
And, and don't um, forget to mention. Anything else you want to add? Well, don't forget to mention if they want to be a guest, they can also be a guest. That's true. Anyone can be a guest on anyone's show. So if you want to get a hold of Toddy, you now have her contact information as well to be a guest on her show. So other than that, thank you again, Toddy. Uh, I'll have you back again on my show again because there's so much that we can talk about in different aspects of everything. But other than that, that's all we have today. Okay, well, thank you for having me. Thank you. Take care. All right. Bye. Bye.